Okay, so we're here, night two of The Voice, the season 24 finale. Moments ago, you walked off the stage. An absolute powerhouse performance. How do you feel? I felt pretty great, man. A little buzzing, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's the, the crowd or the tequila, you know, I can't tell you. Oh, you know? did we have a little tequila before we hit the stage tonight? Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like that energy. <laughs> you know it. John Legend and EGOT is bowing down to you. I know, I know, I know. I was just like, I just, I just hoped in the night eventually, like he might press that button and turn that chair around. You know, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I want to be on John Legend's team. That's my hero. That's like one of my biggest heroes of all time. Just talking to him at all. It's like, uh, 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 yes, sir. How are you doing? You got a little tripped yeah, up. Yeah, I got a little tripped up. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, I think it's so cool to see you here on The Voice because oftentimes, artists who come and perform, it's like a gateway into this whole universe. Would you want to come back as maybe a coach one day, as a mentor? Yeah, yeah, you know, they say uh, hooting is a gateway drug to hollering. So, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm about hooting and hollering, baby. I'll be here anytime you ask. <laughs> we got to talk about the massive breakout success of Lose Control. This song has taken on a life of its own. How do you react to that? Man, I'm just uh, very, very, I feel justified. You know, I feel honored and, and seen and cared for. And, uh, you know, something that I was going through with some little thing I was mm -hmm. with, now it's all, uh, all, all those bad feelings are necessary, you know, and I'm, I'm very grateful that it's, uh, I'm being seen and heard and felt, and I, I just feel loved. Well, I'm sorry if you had to go through any pain, but we thank you for the music. Yeah, the music you know, that's just so part, good. it comes with the territory, don't it? Yeah. Just be, that's just your human condition. Correct. I have to tell you, I, I, I'm in love with the song. I didn't think I could love it more. And then I see Teddy Swims and Kelly Clarkson duet, Lose Control. She, another artist, bowing down to you. It was her Christmas wish. How did, how did you react to that? You know, I'm such a massive fan of, of Kelly, and I've always been a massive fan of Kelly, and um, just to see that she would want to, you know, just cared about me at all and talk about me and um, being in her presence. It's like, you know, when you're around somebody like that where they're just the aura of them is just like huge, you know, the aura is just healing, and you just like feel it, and you're like, what is this room, you know? <laughs> yeah. She's one of those, like, where she's just absolutely like a, just, God, she just brings in a wave of absolute beauty and wow. healing everywhere she goes. And I was just so grateful to be in that room at all. It was, it was such a magic moment to watch. Listen, this year you put out a record. You just wrapped up a tour. Where do you go in 2024? Um, you know, uh, that's probably a uh, question from my best bud, Luke Conway, my manager. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just show up where they tell me to go. And, I, and I'm just grateful to be there, man. I'm grateful to make connections as I go. And, uh, you know, hope, hopefully it's, it's going to continue to get better. With so much on your plate, with breakout singles and the tour and everything going on, do you have time for a personal life? <laughs> We're working on it. <laughs> And how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. I, I've, I've been thinking lately about like getting some hobbies, but I don't know what I'm going to oh. do. Like, what, I'm going to build model planes or something. I don't know. I love what I do. You know what I do with my best friends. So I'm grateful to have the best job in the world with my best friends. But uh, I just, you know, I don't know what uh, personal life is going to. This has always been my life. You yeah. know, or what, well, I mean, now it's becoming my life, but it's always been my life. It's, before it was a career, it was a hobby, and so I don't know how to have any of, yeah, I don't know how to have any of those other things yet. So we're, we're gonna figure out some balance along the way, I think, hopefully. Ask me like a year from now, maybe. Okay, okay, yeah. you and I will have the same conversation <laughs> yeah. in a year. With celebrity fans like Kelly Clarkson, John Legend, Reese Witherspoon, there are so many people that would love to work with you in 2024. You're on Entertainment Tonight. Do you want to look in the camera? Who is it that you want to work with in 2024? Let's put it out there. Uh, Stevie Wonder. You want to give him a little message? Yeah, I love you so much. You're my hero. Come record with Teddy. Yeah, I would be honored. <laughs> him and like Paul McCartney, I would like Paul. Oh God, Paul McCartney. I just uh, that that would be that would be everything for me. Well, you've had such a huge year. I think it's definitely in the cards. Yeah, we'll see. I guess. Yes, it's so good yeah, to meet you. You too. Thank you again. Happy uh, holidays. Oh, happy holidays. Okay.